Good morning. I do wonder why I do this sometimes. It's 24 minutes past four. I've got a two hour drive ahead of me. So I will catch up with all of you when I get down to the beach. I'll see you down there. Morning to you all and welcome to another one of my videos. You know those mornings where you think, hmm, should I have done this? I left this morning at um, ridiculous o'clock, gone four, and uh, thinking, oh yeah, it'll be a couple of hours trundle, but the M20 was shut at Junction 10 in a big diversion, and I had all these lorries and rain and fog and couldn't see the diversion signs and was going up and down like an idiot. But I eventually got here and it's absolutely thundering it down. But the reason to come here is the wind southwesterly, it's going to be quite strong today. And um, we've got this behind us, so it's kind of giving us a little bit of protection. What we're going to catch today, I really don't know. High tide's at three, so I'm going to fish the tide up. Rigs, um, I'm just going to use two pulley rigs, which I made yesterday. Very straightforward size, um, three hooks. They clip down, so I'm going to fish big baits on them and um, see how we get on. So let's get these baited up and get them out. So I'm going to fish. There's a sort of gully in front of me. So weed and rock, weed and rock. And I'm going to try and remember where my rod rest is, which is here. That's where I'm going to cast to. And then I've got to get it off the ground real sharpish when reeling it in. So let's bosh it out. Doesn't need to be out too far here, but far enough to get through that weed and crap. That'll do me. So I've um, not put any videos up recently because I have been fishing. I went last weekend, useless rubbish. The weekend before, not the best. Um, and the weekend before that, rubbish. Combination of weather, tide, whatever, too hot, too... We've always got an excuse as fishermen, haven't we? But I was listening to the radio this morning, driving in the fog and the rain, thinking I should have stayed at home next to my lovely wife. Watched a bit of TV, drunk a bit of beer, been lazy. But then I would have got annoyed with myself if Klaus had come down and said, oh, I caught loads, so we're here. But they had this kind of early morning prayer for the day or whatever, and they were talking about the sanctity of marriage and it is a wonderful thing and blah de blah And I was thinking, in the marriage vows, is there something about lose stroke bathrooms that men when you get married you can't use the bathroom you can only use it under cover of darkness or have something outside because every time I go in there whatever time of the day I get the are you going to be long or how much longer or what are you doing in there now I don't say to my lovely wife when she's putting makeup and stuff on. You've been in there for 20 minutes. What are you doing? <laughs> because it would start an argument, um, which I wouldn't win. But I do wonder. But other than that, I've had a very uneventful week. Lots of work, which is brilliant. I came on holiday a year ago here and I stayed over that away. 
and I fished just a little bit up from here and on that day it was absolutely chucking it down and it tipped it down all day and all I caught was dogfish more dogfish and dogfish and I do hope that I don't repeat that today so I got excited reeling in and yes it's a dogfish right you pop you back Come on, chap. It's now not looking good. Klaus has just caught a dogfish. So, this is the Dejected of Deal Angling Club. I'm rechristening my channel. All right. I am. And then we have poor old Dave, <laughs> just the way he's walking encapsulates everything I'm feeling. Driven for bloody hours to get here. Really good bait no bites one dogfish dave's had a covid jab and a flu jab and he's not feeling the best and so klaus whispered honey words in my ears and i should have listened to the other little man sitting on my shoulder who was telling me stay at home in bed and then watch television and drink beer what you just said is that what i'm going to go and do now drink beer yeah because i had my injections good so man i'm not feeling great so no I'm well, well and i'm well, going to go home and i'm actually going to drink jack daniels are you? Yeah. Goodness. Well, there you go. That'll soothe it? Yeah, I think it will. Right. Smooth anything out. Well, I'm going to fish till two, another 20 minutes, and then I'm doing the same. But, you know, we tried, and that's all yeah, you can do. That's, that's what, do. for all of you out there, that's what fishing's about, is as you've got to you try. you've got a line in the water, you've always got a chance. Yeah. Hey, I've got Paul, a doggy. As always, mate, it's been an absolute pleasure. And a joy sharing your company. Nice to see you again. Yeah, as well. Now, different beach, about 100 miles from the other beach. I've got Martin, Rob and Andy with me today. Tide's coming in, it's just started to turn. We're gonna fish it till about 12, so two hours after um, high tide. And I guess home for about 1.30 and then I'm not doing a lot tomorrow. But I have been out, a few of you asked where have I been? I have been out now the last five times and caught zip. And uh, all of you know how demoralizing that is in all sorts of weathers, all sorts of conditions with all the, the fancy baits. Today I'm gonna to fish as I did on the other beach, um, a pulley single hook size three on this one, three black lug and a piece of squid. And then a pulley panel on the other one with um, a bluey and some unwashed couple um, whip round it. So, do we catch fish? I don't know. I am hopeful that um, it looks pretty fishy, I have to say. And the wind's dropping, which is good. We've had a bit of rain. There's no rush to get home, so you never know. One of us must, uh, how often have we said that? One of us must catch something and then catch nothing. They haven't been doing too well uh, along, quite a long distance up or down, the odd dribs and drabs, but you never know. Kind of. All the conditions look right so let's swing these out and get on with it and he he has caught a fish uh i don't know what sort of fish it is it looks a bit like a whiting so martin has caught himself a whiting if it's not i will um let you know but i think it's a, yeah looking at it, it is definitely a whiting i hope we're not in for a whiting fest tonight so was that a whiting a bass what? A little bass. That was a bass? Yeah. I've got, I've got the holes in your hand. In my hand to prove it. Well, that beats a whiting then, because I was telling everyone out there that was a whiting. Well, you were obviously the blessed one amongst us today yeah. by catching that bass. But have I got the first cast curse? Mm, I don't know. It will really annoy me if he catches a fish. I cannot tell you. <laughs> well, <Gavin laughs> <way> that <was laughs> That's funny. Not funny. <laughs> Oh, look at him nodding, Mr. Yeah. Captain Wise over there. It's not right. It's not right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. People are going to talk about me. I'm hoping for him it's a fish. 
<laughs> you don't believe me. It looks like an eel. Yeah, it is, right at the bottom. That's a beautiful um, frame in the background. Worthing Pier down there, chap just coming out on his windsurfer. I got a text from my wife earlier in the week going happy anniversary and I'm thinking, what? And it was above it, it was a picture of the dog. I thought, well, we've only had the dog 10 months. It's not its anniversary, what's she going on about? I'm racking my brains thinking, well, had the birthday. That wasn't that long ago and I remembered that. I think anniversary. And then the penny dropped 36 years ago on the 18th of October, I got married. And I was feeling a bit guilty, but the guilt went when I got home and she went, you know your birthday in November? I went, yeah. I'm at a wedding that weekend. Really? Well, you're not around? No, 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 and I'm, I'm, I'm not coming back. I'm staying away the weekend. Oh, right, okay. And then my daughter went, yeah, I'm uh, out with my boyfriend, dad, up in uh, London. I'm, I'm not coming back either. So I'm left with mother-in-law, the walking stick, and it is like something out of I used to watch, years and years and years ago, um, a film about pirates, Long John Silver, and he had a wooden like, leg, and you could hear him walk, clump, walk, clump, walk, clump. Well, that's what I now hear coming down the corridor, and it scares me. <laughs> anyway, weed, please go away. I keep reeling in lots of it, so I'm going to just keep one rod out at the moment, wait for the tide to move in a bit more and um, hopefully with the tide moving it'll push a lot of this weed either close in or further down as the current moves but i think whether we like it or not we're going to have a little bit of weed one bass so far but it is 25 to 6. as you can see from where the sun is it's probably dark in about half an hour I don't know if you can see, <laughs> yeah, a tiny, tiny little place, yep. but it is another fish. Did Isn't you that? see the bite? No. You didn't? <laughs> oh, right, no. okay. No, definitely not. Right, get him back in. Yeah, he's done. Really disappointing, isn't it, when you come to a beach like this and think, yeah, it's all going to happen. But all I can do, chuck another bait on here. So it is now 20 past 11, there's a fox over there, if you see the fox it's already nicked Rob's bait, there he is, obviously found something tasty down there, looks pretty healthy I have to say, as foxes go. He's probably had more luck than we have, or she. Now you're probably thinking, it's daylight, so he's been here all night. Well he hasn't, this is the third week. And we're now, same beach, Shoreham. We've moved down a ways, so the wall is probably about, or the arm about a quarter of a mile that away. Tide's coming in. We got down here at uh, eight. We're gonna fish till four. Sea's looking a little less muddy. So rods are out. I've got a big bait on one. I've got a two hook flapper on the other one. Black lug and dirty squid on the big bait. I was just telling Martin that I had a COVID jab yesterday, which is a stupid thing to have done because I was feeling really manky and I still feel pretty crap. But then I was saying being in this chap's company is like a bottle of life, is the only way I'd describe. Dr. And if Good. It, uh, more than Dr. Good. <laughs> Carl has just called himself a, what's that Carl? A little place. A little place. Do you see the bite on it? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Cool. Only a little pull, but enough to get started vibrating. Good man. Get it back in. So Carl has done it again, and he's making all of us look stupid. A winter flounder. There you go. Yeah, little flounder. Nice big yeah. Look at you. 
You're showing up the old lags, you young man. It's not the way it works. The old lags are meant to catch the fish and we're meant to teach you. You're now teaching us. But well done. No, changed tactic. I've got a blingy hook on, clip down, size two hook, single, with a fresh lug and a frozen lug. See if this does the job. It's getting embarrassing now. Well done, Carl. <coughs> So I'm exonerated, I've just had this tap tap tapping away and it's not a bad little place. So we're going to do the old fisho method. So Rob has just picked up a flatfish, I don't know what it is, but I suspect another little place. The one I've just caught, I measured. 35 centimetres. So Rob is doing the fish o method. So in through the mouth, grab the line, pull the line through, which turns the end of the hook effectively. And you have a look and see if you can see the hook turned. There it is. Grab hook. And then push hook out through. Job done. Lovely little place. Go back swim another day. Well done, chap. Right, I have a decent bite on this rod here. There feels to be a little bit of weight on here. And it's a fish. Way! <laughs> Lots of clapping going on. Anyway, let's get this back in. All right, fish, how are you hooked? And then, yeah, it makes it so much fairer for the fish. And then out the other way. Job done. No matter how many videos I watch, I'll never get that. Little place, there he is, back in. Perfect. So Rob way off in the distance. What's he got? I would say by the looks of it, that is a little smooth hound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah perfect. No, cool. <laughs> seen that Martin has broken his duck. I really hope he has. Such a nice fellow. It's another smooth hound. <laughs> well, I never. No, I'm well chuffed. Is that your first one? That's first one today. Hey! Yeah. Brilliant. Debating with somebody at work, why do I keep going out not catching fish? Well, simple answer is my mental well-being. Um, I really look forward to being in the company of other like-minded blokes, or ladies, um, fishing on a beach. And anglers, wherever you are generally, will muddle along. And um, it kind of makes the adventure fishing in company and a little bit of competition. We're not going to fish for very much longer, so I thought there would be a Paulie bonus prize. And basically it says, sea fishing with Paul, Andy challenge beer glass. <laughs> <laughs> Always hard Paul. <laughs> the challenge is you've got to beat Andy. And it's really, 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 really unusual. 
it's only taken me several years. So, <laughs> now, basically, Rob, you're on how many, fellow? Um, four. 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 Now, there is a scoring system, <laughs> as, <laughs> as, <laughs> as ever. Um, one. Yeah. Yeah. The, to Carl the, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, <both> basically, <laughs> the way it works is you get 10 points for a flatfish. So, how many flatfish have you caught? Four. So that's how many? 40. Yeah. Rob, how many flatfish have you caught? Uh, two. So yeah. you're two flatfish, yeah. so that's 20 points. Yeah. And what else did you catch? Uh, a little smooth hound and yeah. a dogfish. So a dogfish is minus that's 10. Minus, minus yeah. 10, so you're on 10. <laughs> and a smooth hound, I'll give you 24. Right. So that's 30. Yeah. And then it's another minus 20 because you're very old. <laughs> and it's plus 40 for Carl because oh, he's the youngest. So, Carl, <laughs> I'm going to shake your hand, fellow. Well done for beating Andy. That is very, very, very unusual. Eh? Is he old enough to drink? Is he old enough to drink? Well, I think you are, aren't you? Absolutely. Yeah, there you go. Well done. Yeah, cool. Well, nice to share your company, boys. Down to the. Um, last cast and uh, we're going to go in about 20 minutes tide as you can see is starting to drop shame we didn't get any more fish but at least we've had a few um, i've had a laugh today which is what it's all about i look forward to all the comments i wish i could meet all of you i have to say it really 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 brings cheer into my life and it's nice to meet a few of you down on the beach so until the next one, I will um, go home. I'm going to go down the sofa club with Andy tonight and have a pint of lager or two. But look after yourselves, and I'll see you on the, uh, the next video. Take care.